Alex and welcome to The Coffee Shop. I'm the co-founder of a restaurant group here in Las Vegas and we have some really cool restaurant concepts. So this is our coffee shop. We also have donut shops and pizza shops and we have some more coming out soon that I cannot wait to take you guys along the journey. Everyone always asks what to order here at Cafe Lola so I'm gonna make you guys five of the most popular drinks. Let's go. So Alex's coffee is actually one of our most popular lattes and it's named after your tree. <laughs> I actually make all the drinks here at Cafe Lola. This is one actually I made when we first opened. It was one of our very first lattes and it was one of my favorites. I still drink it almost every day. I had it this morning already. So let's start with coffee. It's actually made with light roast coffee instead of espresso. I noticed a lot of people actually don't like the taste of espresso. Like a lot of people who are starting out drinking coffee, they, they think it's a little too strong. So I actually made the Alex's coffee with like just our light roast coffee. So it'd be a little bit lighter of a drink. So it has five swirls of honey and then some cinnamon. I use a lot of cinnamon. It's made with oat milk because I actually only drink oat milk. I drink oat milk and almond milk, but I don't drink dairy. It's so delicious, you guys. So if you're looking for something on the healthier side, I feel like it's pretty healthy. So this is my coffee. See that color? It's like the perfect beige. That's like my favorite. I can tell if I'm gonna like the coffee by the color of the coffee. So there's the Alex's coffee. So we have a huge drink menu, so this is hard for me to just narrow it down to five, but I'm gonna show you guys one that has no coffee in it. Um, it's called a superfood latte, and it's made with spirulina. So this is our blue spirulina. It's amazing for you. If you guys Google spirulina, the benefits, maybe I'll, I'll look up some benefits for you guys and put it on the screen. I'm not gonna tell you guys everything that's in there because it's a secret, but I will show you the main thing, almond milk. And then it has agave. So here is the blue moon. This is also one of my favorite lattes. Probably drink two lattes a day, and it's this one in the Alex's coffee. And they have become two of our most popular drinks that we have here at Cafe Lola. So the next one is called our salted caramel mocha. This one is for the coffee lovers. So we put espresso first. So it has dark chocolate. It has hazelnut. So that basically tastes like Nutella. It has cajeta, which this is like our secret. I love cajeta. It's a Mexican caramel made with goat milk actually, but the way it flavors the caramel, it's like the best caramel you'll ever have. So I put that all in there. Yum. And also what I like about this caramel is that it literally has two ingredients. It has, it has the goat milk and sugar, that's it. Okay. So, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this, it is so good. Okay, this one is actually on the um, higher calorie side. It has it's the base of the drink is made with half and half because we wanted it to be really creamy. Okay, so this one, I always put a little more cajeta around the edge of the cup. So I go like this. There we go. Yummy. If you've ever had dulce de, like dulce de leche, that's what this tastes like. This actually only is the base of the drink, and then we have this hand whipped cream that we put on the top. So this is a caramel cream. So that is our salted caramel mocha. We don't normally put it on top of iced lattes because um, it's, it's impossible to. <laughs> if you have one of our sweet creams on top, we can print something on top. So let's do Life Begins After Coffee. This is an awesome machine. We can print literally anything on top of a latte. Sometimes you'll see my videos and I'll make funny lattes for different like celebrities or something and I print, I can literally print their face right on top of a latte. This looks like that. So cool. Okay, a lot of people don't know we have alcohol here, but we do, we have beer and wine and champagne and I'm gonna make you one of our most popular champagne drinks. It has a little bit of champagne. 
So it gets a little strawberry lemonade on top. So it's like a strawberry mimosa, it's delicious. So then we'll put some dried roses in there. Cotton candy. Okay. So we'll put it like that then. And we have the butterfly tea, which we'll do over there. I'll, I'll show you guys how you drink this drink. But first I wanna make you guys the unicorn hot chocolate. The unicorn hot chocolate is our most popular kids drink. It is a pink hot chocolate. It has white chocolate and then a little bit of the pink powder, which is actually just beet. It's made from beets. Don't tell your kids. <laughs> but we don't like using food coloring here because I feel like if I wouldn't give it to my daughter, then I don't want to give it to anyone's so. daughter. Yeah, I try to limit the use of food, artificial food coloring, especially for kids. And I don't like to make things too overly sweet. So I just use that beet powder. I put the pink hot chocolate in and then I put the whipped cream on top. Our whipped cream is so delicious. Our whipped cream is made with real vanilla beans, so when you try it, it's so rich and delicious. Okay. So now we make it look like a unicorn. So I put colored, I put these colorful marshmallows all over. Put another pink one right there. And then we need some sprinkles. Then I put sprinkles. It's so cute. Final step. And it gets a little unicorn cookie on it. Isn't that so cute? I love it. That's Sophie's favorite drink. So this is our In Full Bloom cocktail. And this is why everyone loves it. It's probably gonna make a mess, but that's okay. How cool is that? And that, that's actually just butterfly tea, so it's, it doesn't really add a flavor to the drink. Okay, so out of all these drinks, Jessica, it's my amazing assistant, Jessica. Which one would you pick to drink today? Which one would you t pick out of all these? Uh, for drinking, definitely the salsa caramel. The salsa caramel, I know. <laughs> so Jessica picked this one. And for me, of course, I have to go with the Alex's coffee. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.